Hello my wolf pack and welcome to the RBL week 9 battle versus the Huntsville Bulbasaurs and Rotten Tomato or Tomato, however you say it. Right, I'm nervous, I'm bricking it, I feel like, you know, things could not go well, things could also go very well, so we will see exactly what happens. You know, I'm going to have fun here, I'm going to enjoy it, we're going to try and do what we can. If you haven't checked out the team builder, please do go and check that out. It's already up there. Also, go check out Rotten Stuff because uh, he's a fantastic guy. He's such a Chad, um, which he proclaims himself to be. You know, uh, fantastic streamer. Go check him out. He does some really, really good stuff. Right, okay. <sighs> Center. He also has Sun, and I'm Sunburned at the minute. So, you know, this could be, <laughs> this could be problematic. Right, we shall see. What does he bring? He brings the Nine Tails and the Incineroar. Okay, nice. Uh, does bring the Pile of Swine there. The Wind's Caught. Yeah, this is basically what I anticipated to come. Um, yeah, uh, Arcanine is still really good here. In fact, Dragalge is fantastic here. Dragalge really puts in some work here. I am definitely considering bringing Dragalge. Um, it definitely puts in a lot of work. Dragalge Porygon could be a really awesome lead. But I do want, kind of want to go for my... My Hippo lead is pretty good, but I kind of think that Dragalge just does things better. So, Porygon and Dragalge lead. And then in the back I bring Hippo. And I bring Ark because it does so much. I think that's, that's round one. Now, if round one goes wrong... I can reevaluate. I can see what kind of leads he's wanting to do. And we can work our way through that. We can work our way through that. Um, I am kind of worried that he's going to go for the Whimsicott and Venusaur lead. Uh, I could definitely see that coming. But obviously, with Ark being such a huge threat uh, to both of those Mons, you know. Yeah, so. What do we see happening, first of all? In fact, actually, I need to do something. Because I might get frame drops if I don't. I should bit my tongue. Um, okay, we see the Incineroar wins. Okay, that wasn't predicted. That wasn't predicted. Um, can definitely see an EQ here. Nice, we get the special attack boost, which is really good. Uh, I definitely see a fake out into the Porygon. I definitely see Fake Out into Porygon here. I try and trick room, but I realistically there's going to be a Fake Out into the Porygon. And Incineroar also could definitely max Quake here. So I think what I want to do... Uh, no, I want to protect. I want to protect. I need to be safe here, honestly. Um, it's, that's almost definitely the Incineroar here. Almost definitely Incineroar. Uh, yep, yeah, Incineroar, Dynamaxing. That is not the worst thing in the world, honestly. Um, but it is also a pretty bad thing. It obviously will not go for uh, the fake out here. Although, can can Whimsicott get fake out? Okay, Tickle. Okay, good. Good. Oh, okay. Dragon move. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, this does put me in a pretty good position. And our attack's falling again. Doesn't even matter. Does not matter one piece there. We do get a Trick Room off. And this does mean that Dragalge is slower. Now... I think... Realistically... Realistically... The Tiger is the problem here. So Dynamax and I Max Geyser into the tiger. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do. He could max guard here, and if he max guards, then that does present a bit of a problem. 
but ultimately I have three turns and Max Guard, um, which I found out quite recently actually, Max Guard uh, actually does not, uh, does not uh, go every single turn and use it. It's, it's the same as Protect, it's 33% the second time. Uh, tickle Prankster, that's that's fine. That lowers, is it lower by two or one? My attack falls and my defense falls, that's fine. My Max Geyser goes into the Incineroar here. Wow, that does nothing. Jeez. That actually does nothing. And that's going to do nothing as well. Jeez. Louise. The Max Wormin, that probably takes me out, honestly. Uh, no, I live, on, I live on 26. Okay, so... Re-evaluation. Re-evaluation here. Re-evaluation on this is we try attack into the Tiger again, but we also go for Max Ooze onto the Incineroar. Adaptability Stab. So, you know, it's going to hit hard. If he max guards here, then I'm in big trouble. If he max guards, I'm in huge trouble. He probably anticipates me to max geyser again. We could see nine tails come out to reduce it, but ultimately on that part, I think that's a bad play. Because obviously I've gone for max ooze this time. And this means I get Porygon's plus two. Uh, uses Tickle again. Okay, that's on the Porygon this time. And does he... Oh, he attacks into the Porygon probably then. Okay. Okay, so we go Max Ooze here into the Tiger. Now at plus two, I don't think that's going to be enough to take it out annoyingly. I don't think it's going to be enough to take it out frustratingly. No, it lives on like two. Oh my god. Okay, but does go into the Dragology. That is fine. That is fine. So Porygon is now at minus one, but it's at plus two total. I can now freely bring out Hippo. I can freely bring out Hippo. We set up the sand. We see the Incin just go down, or just um, go back to normal. I think I don't have Protect. Oh no, this is this put me in a bad situation. Um, what we do, we Ice Beam into the Whimsicott, and we Crunch into the Tiger. And that's what we do. We could definitely see another tickle here. Another tickle would be quite difficult to deal with. Uh, is that on? That's onto the hippo. Okay, so I'm at plus two with Porygon, um, and uh, this should definitely take it out. Hundred percent. Yep. There we go. Uh, Ice beam from Porygon could definitely take out Wimscott here. If it does, then we're in a really good position. Is it sashed? It is sashed. Okay. Okay, it's sashed. Oh, but it goes down! Oh! Oh, nice! Nice! I love that. I really love that. Um, he's obviously used his Dynamax, so... A physical one probably comes in here. Okay, we've got Venusaur, so we do get to scout out what this Venusaur is. Uh, and we do see... Uh, the Lantern here as well. So this could be problematic for us. I Ice Beam into... I'm in a bad position here. I Ice Beam and I Protect to scout out what's happening. Because these are both special mons. I'm scouting. Scouting's the good option here. And I could definitely see one of these ones going for Protect. 
Okay, so we do just go straight Ice Beam into the uh, Venusaur there. And Venusaur just goes down. That's what I like to see. Um, <laughs> Porygon just 2 OP. Use a Scold against my Hippowdon. Yep, yeah, um, that was to be anticipated. Uh, what I do now... Now, I think Dimensions return to normal. See Leftovers on it, okay. Um, dimensions do return to normal. But I think I try attack here. And I think I possibly go into Arcanine. I just go into Arcanine here. Because I don't want Hippo to die. I don't, want, I don't want to reveal the weakness policy Hippo. I do not want to reveal hippo, weakness policy Hippo. Now the Intimidate doesn't matter here. So it does Scold probably into the Arcanine. That's good to know. It does about 50%. Now, okay, so, what we should hopefully see here, and I don't care if Ark goes down here. I don't really care if Ark goes down here. Actually, I don't want to reveal. I don't want to reveal. I don't want to reveal that I'm special. I'm protecting. I don't want to reveal that. If I reveal that, he can plan for that next time. And now he's he's sus now, he's sus. Okay, he goes for protect as well, okay. So um you know you know <laughs> I kind of have to reveal myself now, which is annoying. I mean I could try and just go for double. In fact I think that's what I'm gonna do. I would rather double here. Because the the try attack definitely takes it out. And I'm just going to go for the exact same again. He's going to think that's really weird. I'm going to double protect here. I'm going to see if I can get it. Oh my god, I got it! Oh! <laughs> double protect, that never happens. That never happens. Jeez. Okay, there we go. That is, that is round one done. Oh! <laughs> that double protect. I mean, to be fair, it didn't make any difference. It didn't make any difference whatsoever in the end game there. Um, honestly. Uh, so, what did we learn there? Tickle was a thing. Tickle was definitely a thing. D lowering my attack as well. So, lowers my attack and my defense. So, you know, that is good information. That means I need to go f special. And actually, that allows for Ark to be coming in quite nicely. But I don't know, like, I don't think I lead with the same. Or do I? I don't really want to lead with Hippo. I think Porygon 2 is a good choice. But I kind of want to go Mandibuzz Arcanine. Because of that tickle, Mandibuzz Arcanine could be a nice combination. So Mandibuzz Arcanine will have Porygon 2 in the back. And I think we'll have Dracovish in the back as well. Yeah, I think that's how we go. I think that's how we go here. At least we won one game. At least we're back on our back on our um, kind of game here. So the question is, what has he led? If he's led Nine Tails, that does put a problem. I love this music. White Tiger and Sugar. Okay, so same lead. Same lead. So that is not the biggest problem I can see. Okay, for some reason I thought I led Dracovish. Actually, that is a... That is fine. That is fine. Um, we get the Intimidate off, but we are double special here. We are double special. So what I do... Is I Tailwind... I Dynamax and I Max Flare into, yeah, that's what I do, that's what I do. Yeah, I Dynamax Arcanine this, this round. And realistically, like, Arcanine's actually super fast already, so he probably, oh, he might Dynamax the Incineroar. Definitely didn't Dynamax the Whimsicott, which is actually kind of good for us. Um, but Dynamaxing Arc here is just, um, it's going to take, well, 
Oh no, it's Focus Sash, isn't it? Doi, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh well, that's not the worst thing in the world. That is not the worst thing in the world. Oh, okay, go for the Tailwind as well. I see, I see what you're doing. Okay, that's going to hit me hard. Uh, that's not going to hit me hard, wow. Um, Max Flare into... That sugar goes down to 1 HP for sure. It holds on with its sash annoyingly. But I do set up Sun now. We do reveal our leftovers, which is, you know, okay. Uh, what I want to do here... Now, I really hope this doesn't have Endeavor. I think... We know it's Intimidate, so I could just go for a little bit of damage, but no. Air Slash is what I do into the Whimsicott. And I Max Quake into the Tiger. Okay, Tickle here. So Tickle is annoying. But that being said, I am special. So Max Quake should do a lot of damage here. Yeah, that is a fair amount of damage. Um, we do get special defense rises, which is quite nice. Air Slash takes out the Whimsicott, which is nice. So we don't have to deal with tickles from that anymore. Definitely could have put him in a position where you can freely bring in Venusaur, though. Uh, going for another Thunder Punch. Interesting. Really interesting. Now, if the Venusaur comes in, I 100%... Uh, max Flare into that. So yeah, I 100% Max Flare into the Venusaur. Um, I think I also Heat Wave here. No, no, I don't. Mm. This is troublesome. I want to fake tears into. Yeah, I want to fake tears. And I think I want to max quake again. Unless this is a physical Venusaur. We didn't get to see that last time. If it's physical Venusaur, this is going to cause us problems. Uh, if it's physical Venusaur, and we're not even going to see it this time. But we could definitely see a max quake from the Venusaur here. And that would be a problem. So Venusaur's 100% Chlorophyll here. I've kind of shot myself in the foot here. Uh, it does go Max Quake into the, obviously, the Arcanine. I'm pretty sure this can't kill me. In fact, that does next to... No wow, that doesn't even do half. That's not terrible. But they do get a plus one in both special defenses. Actually, I don't think we take out the... Um, I don't think we quite take out... Uh... No, we do take it out. Good, good. That is good. That's really good for me. So we do get a, another plus one in our special defences. Um, we do get a fake tears off on the um, on the Venusaur, so it is now at minus one. We do get some recovery. We do see the Pile of Swine as well. Okay, so Pile of Swine as well here. Smart moves. What are smart moves? What's my smart move here? Who, who else have I brought? Who else have I brought? Draco is definitely really good uh, to come in against the Pile of Swine. But Porygon is also really good. And I kind of want to go into Pori. But at the same time, I don't. I Well, I know I'm guaranteedly faster. I Air Slash. I think I have to Flamethrower. I have to Flamethrower, yeah. I think that's what I have to do. Ice Shard, okay. Oh! Weakness Policy? 
Nice! I love that. That's really cool. So that Max Quake definitely obviously goes into Arcanine again, which is not the worst thing in the world. It's now back to neutral. Um, I should have protected. I should have protected because I would have lived that. I would have definitely lived that. Okay, so soon enough the... Um, that does nothing, oh my goodness. Um... Sun should end soon, so... Okay, Tailwind's gone. Now, Sun should go pretty soon. I come in with Porygon. I don't trick from here, though. My special attack rises, that's good. Um... I feel like I heat wave here, but I also feel like I fake tears. I think I fake tears and I also ice beam. Yeah, that's what I do. Fine lash. Oh, that's going to hurt me. That's going to hurt me. That hurts a lot. That hurts a friggin' ton. But we might be able to get rid of Venusaur this turn. I'm at plus one, so there's a, a free differential here. Ice beam should hit really friggin' hard. It does. It takes out. Good. That's good. That's really good for me. Because that is now gone. That's something I don't really have to worry about too much anymore. Super power into the Porygon. Doesn't do enough to take it out, unfortunately. Um, wow. Okay. Attack and defense falling. And I want to say this is probably GG's. Oh, wait. I go down. I go down. So that's fine. That's... Yeah, I go back down. I think I go down to the G-Max Vine Lash. I think I'm low enough. That takes me out. Yeah, I go down. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Now, obviously, we bring in Dracovish here. Dracovish guaranteeably outspeeds. So I go Ficious Rend. And I think I also just go Heat Wave here. That's kind of what I have to do. I Ficious Rend and Heat Wave. I think that's GG. Ice Shard, okay, into the Mandibuzz. That's fine. I don't think he has a good way of dealing. Unless, unless he's got Freeze Dry. Oh, of course it avoided. Of course it avoids. But Ficious Ren should do a lot of... Yeah, Ficious Ren just flat out takes it out. That is a GG, dude. Honestly, you know, that Pilot Swine was scary. That Pilot Swine was 100% scary. Um, yeah, GG. Honestly, like, wow, yeah. Fun match. Really, really fun match. I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah. Not sure why you didn't bring Nine Tails. That's, that's the one question I have. Is like, why, why no... Well, to be fair, I suppose I have normally brought most of my teams offensively. So, you know, that's, that's what happens. Um, I did bring, obviously, a special Arcanine this week, which uh, I think definitely worked. I think it was definitely expecting the Arcanine to be physical. That's why the tickles were coming out and stuff. But yeah, I think that definitely worked. Uh, Arcanine was just a huge threat for his team. Um, Hippowdon was a huge threat for his team. It just worked really, really well. So, you know, I think that synergy this week was really, really nice. We've got uh, six wins, I think, now and three losses. So, you know, we're looking at a really good shot for playoffs. Um, looking at a really, really good shot for playoffs at the minute, which I am all for. I am all for. 100% but yeah that's gonna be all for today so please do like subscribe and comment let me know what you think down in the comment section below anyways i'm out of here so have a good one and i'll see you soon